As the nation's largest provider of shared wireless infrastructure, Crown Castle is helping enable the essential services that people rely on to stay in touch, con conduct business, and live their lives every day. Since 1994, they have worked diligently to build the U.S. footprint, collaborating closely with wireless carriers, communities, governments, and local property owners to provide access to the infrastructure they need. Crown Castle understands that today, access to technology and information is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. Firms use their resources to improve organizational effectiveness and efficiency. Resources are critical to organizational strategy because they can help companies create and sustain an advantage over competitors. Crown Castle's resources are helping to improve their strategy for success. The company's strategy is to increase long-term stockholder value by translating anticipated future growth in their core site rental business into growth of their results of operations on a per share basis. Crown Castle believes their strategy is consistent with their mission to deliver the highest level of service to their customers at all times. Striving to be their critical partner as we assist them in growing efficient, ubiquitous wireless networks. Organizations can achieve a competitive advantage by using their resources to provide greater value for, cons for customers than competitors can. A competitive ad advantage becomes a sustainable competitive advantage when other companies cannot duplicate the value a firm is providing to customers. Crown Castle hopes to achieve competitive advantage by planning to organically grow the revenues and cash flows from their wireless infrastructure by seeking to maximize the site rental val revenues derived from their wireless infrastructure by co-locating additional tenants on their wireless infrastructure through long-term contracts such as their customers deploy and improve their wireless networks. Seeking to allocate Crown Castle's available capital, including the net cash provided by their operating activities in a manner that will enhance per share operating results are some ways in which will help the company achieve sustain sustainable competitive advantage. These investments are purchase shares of their common stock from time to time, acquire or construct wireless infrastructure, acquire land interests under their towers, and make improvements and structural enhancements to existing wireless infrastructure, and also to purchase or redeem their debts. Crown Castle's long-term strategy is based on their belief that additional demand for wireless infrastructure will be created by expected continued growth in the wireless communications industry, which is predominantly driven by the demand for wireless voice and data services by consumers. They believe that additional demand for wireless infrastructure will create growth opportunities for their company. They also believe that such demand for their wireless infrastructure will continue and will result in organic growth of their revenues due to new tenants additions on their existing wireless infrastructure and will create other growth opportunities for them such as demand for new wireless infrastructure. As the nation's largest provider of shared wireless infrastructure, we're helping enable the essential services that people rely on to stay in touch, conduct business, and live their lives. Crown Castle collaborate closely with wireless carriers, local governments, and local property owners to provide access to the infrastructure they need. Together, we own, lease, or manage 23,000 plus towers approximately 800 knots and primarily located outdoors and we also have 150 plus third-party land interests. Revenues generated from our core site rental business represented 91% of our 2011 consolidated rep net revenues. CCUSA is one of our largest operated segments 
accounting for 94% of our 2011 revenue. There have not been any changes to the company's internal control over financial reporting during the most recent fiscal quarter that have materially affected or likely to materially affect our internal control over financial reporting. Because of its inherent limitations, the company's internal control over financial reporting may not prevent or detect misstatements. Also, projections of any evaluation of effectiveness to future periods are subject to the risk that controls may become inadequate because of changes in conditions or that the degree of compliance with the policies and procedures may deteriorate. Management has assessed the effectiveness of the company's internal control over financial reporting as of December 31st, 2011. So based on the company's assessment, management has concluded that the company's internal control over financial reporting was effective as of December 31st, 2011. To provide reasonable assurance regarding the reliability of financial reporting and the preparation of financial statements for external reporting, purposes in accordance with U.S. generally accepted accounting principles. So now today we have the most infrastructure and significant presence in every major market in the U.S. with our local presence, expertise, and relationship. We'll get you on air quickly so you can meet your customer's wireless demand. Crown Castle has indeed made use of the portfolio strategy in order to expand the business as it buys and builds the portfolios of the cell towers around the country and then rents them to be provided to carriers who are seeking to beef up their own networks. Many of these have even grown AMID into a wave of investment as the wireless internet use has increased. The research report has also shown that there is a number of cell towers provided by Verizon Communications which could be ne next provide a big asset into the market. The CEO of Crown Castle has reported that if this happens, then the Crown Castle will be really interested in accuring them. The research has shown that Portfolio is seen to be one of the major holdings of towers in the, United, in the entire United States, where the company Crown Castle deserves to have 90% of its revenue and it also expected to have the bringing of further interest from other bidders. The stability and grand strategy of the company is based on the revenue, which it gets from the big four US wireless carriers as it takes around 90% of its revenue from there. There are most of the wireless markets around the globe which are only having three to four major careers. As being the potential counterparties, it has also leased 65% of the sites and around 35% of the sites are owned or the lease term on average is of 30 years. On the other hand, the company has also made the budgeting for 100 million of the cash flow to have the buying of the land which is under the leasing facilities.
Crowdcastles have more powers in bargaining power than buyers because the company sells their products and services to multiple buyers. They provide their services to communities, government, public safety, venues, and properties owners. Crowdcastles also works with tower portfolio owners who are looking to sell. They can have the best offer with the fastest money from Crowdcastle. Crowdcastles used positioning strategies to protect their company from negative effects of industry-wide competitions and creates a substantial competitive advantage. For example, Cal Crystals has been working with small cell solutions for over 10 years and have about 15,000 deployed nodes and 15,000 miles of installed fibers, making us the industry leader. They have the experience to handle any challenges. They monitor everything 24-7, 365 and have a team of highly trained in market operation technicians to take care of any unforeseen circumstances or maintenance needs. Crowdcastles has many projects to expand the services to meet current and future demands. Crowdcastles cares about public safety. The project named Big Cottonwood Canyon UT is one of the meaningful projects. There is only a single tower in the side of the canyons. The wireless service was unreliable, making it difficult for travelers to coordinate planning, receive up-to-date weather and safety reports, or access to 911 services. Installing small towers is necessary in this area. The installations also have benefit to the communities in the around the canyon. Not only do they have better wireless coverage, the fibers we have installed is also used by local internet service providers to provide high-speed access to the homes in the areas.